Hello friends, welcome back to the shop. Today is Sunday, March 8th. Happy Mother's Day to all you mothers out there. Uh, it's raining, it's cool, uh, high 40s right now, windy, and I woke up this morning to a flooded basement. Not a good thing, not a good thing at all. Uh, overnight the sump pump got clogged. I'm not exactly sure how that's never happened before. I've had it cut out for various reasons, but I've never had it clog. Uh, but that was actually what the problem was. I, I unplugged it, I shook it around a little bit, a chunk of something floated up to the top of the, the, the sump hole, plugged it back in and it started running fine. So. That chunk of something, I don't actually know what it is. It looks like it might be a nutshell or something, which is kind of weird. I don't really crack nuts down here. I don't know if there was a mouse. It doesn't make sense that a mouse would be trying to nest in the sump hole because it's almost always wet. Anyway, it's a mess. It's a complete and total mess. There was about uh, somewhere between one and two inches of uh, water on the floor. I'm sorry, the camera is giving me a power off warning because it's not plugged in because of the um, the shenanigans. Also, I don't have my usual setup here. I, I didn't have time to rearrange things, so I'm looking at little tiny me on the screen. And you probably hear in the background the sump pump running. <laughs> The floor is clear now. I, I, it's been running for about an hour. Uh, there's not any more, well, it's wet, but there's not any more like, you know, it's like an inch, one to two inches of water on the floor. That's all gone, but it's still draining from the drains and, you know, trying to get the residual out. It's going to keep doing that for hours. And I thought I'd come on here and complain about how life really stinks sometimes. <laughs> Ah, uh, and you know, to make matters worse, I've been working on this uh, this rack to hold my uh, Rubbermaid storage bins and ultimately to hold some tools as well uh, in an attempt to get things organized. And there was one blessing. So uh, I most of what I had is off the ground because I've had this happen before. Uh, I designed my workbench to be resistant to this sort of problem. Um, I've got very few things actually sitting directly on the ground. Uh, a couple of those, I, I just kind of move stuff around to be able to make these storage bins. So there's going to be a couple of things that probably wouldn't have normally been on the ground, like my uh, table saw sled. I'm maybe going to have to remake that uh, just because it got wet. I don't know if it's going to warp, but we'll see. But the thing that really annoys me, this is a picture I took this morning after the sun pump was running for a while. Uh, let me make sure it comes up. Yeah, so what you can see here is uh, the floor is, is damp. Uh, it's not normally that shiny. Uh, that thing in the center, more or less, uh, that's four of those Rubbermaid storage bins with the three shelving layers that I've made between them. Uh, I was just kind of trying to get a, uh, an idea of the size of things for the... Uh, for the legs. I just wanted to make sure that I had planned the legs properly. And that bottom layer is probably trash now because it was sitting, you know, halfway covered in water. I'm just going to have to wait and see how things dry out. Uh, my sawhorses, they're, they're obviously got end grain in water there, but eh, they're sawhorses. We'll see. We can just cut a little bit off the bottom if we need to. Uh, let me get back to me. There we go. So, yeah, the computer is off over here, so I can't actually see myself on the computer, and I have to turn here to do things. Anyway, yeah, this is a problem with a basement shop. You know, it's rare. It's very rare, and I, I guess I should look into a backup pump. But I don't know if I've got room for one in that, in that sump hole, and I'd hate to have to go and make, well, you don't need to hear about this. Flooding is a problem in a basement shop. My shop is for the most part dry. It's only when things like this happen that I have the, the issue. And it's only been, I think, three times in 20 some years. So, and again, you have to design around that. When you build stuff, you make sure that you've got it off the ground. You don't want any rain touching the ground. 
Um, when you're storing your tools, you never store them on the ground. Uh, when you have things like uh, bandsaw, you put them up on platforms uh, that you can roll around, which is nice anyway, but you don't have the bandsaw sitting directly on the ground. You, you just learn these things. Uh, it's noisy. You got the furnace right here, which will kick on, and you know, it, in the summertime, it's hot. Uh, in the wintertime, it's nice, because it's nice and toasty down here. So <laughs> that's a benefit. And you just get all the noise. I, I don't know. It's a basement shop has its problems, but it also has its charms. You know, the, the rafters, the I, I like, I, I just like all the, the rafters down here and the pipes. It just makes me feel like I'm in a shop. And I've thought a lot about, you know, building a shed and that sort of stuff, but I can't fit everything I've got in a shed. And I could just do a, like a pipe shed, which I guess would be kind of nice, but do I really want to take up that much space just for something I already have room for here? Yeah, I don't know. So yeah, being down here in the basement has its its moments, but by and large, I'm pretty happy and lucky that I've got what I've got. I hope you're not seeing that auto power off thing. <laughs> if you are, <laughs> it's an added feature today, along with the sound of the running sump pump. Uh, by the way, this is uh, a Tim Thorpe canted egg, I think is what he called it. And I am smoking Haunted Bookshop because I needed to calm myself down. And Haunted Bookshop does that. And I've got some 8 o'clock coffee. I had a little coaster. A little, sort of like that mouse pad material. And I was forever like spilling a little bit of coffee on it. It would get stuck to the bottom of the cup. And then I'd go carry the cup away and it would fall off somewhere. I don't know where the coaster is. I hope it's not in the sump hole. I'll have to check that. It's somewhere. But it, it's not on the desk. It got carried away and fell off and then the flood happened. Yeah, I'm not going to mourn. I'm not going to mourn the coaster. Anyway, I'm not going to keep this up for too much longer. Uh, I don't have a lot to say other than I'm really mad and uh, <laughs> ticked off at this situation, but it'll be okay. The worst part, other than the things I've mentioned, you know, the table saw sled, the darn shelving thing that I've been working on for a week. Uh, there's some wood that normally would not have been laying on the ground, but because of my rearrangement of things, I just sort of temporarily stored it that way. So I may have lost some really nice pine shelving, which would be sad. Uh, but I don't know. It may dry out. Anyway, it's going to be at least a week before I can do any more work uh, down here uh, on this shelving thing because i got to let everything dry out. I've got to make sure that yeah, I'm going to have to probably bring a mop down here and clear up some puddles that haven't been drained and then once it's dry I've got to sweep because it's yeah it's changed the whole outlook of my day I hope you're having a better day than I am right now I hope your uh, darn it I hope your Sunday is it was the auto power thing again I hope your Sunday is going wonderfully and is full of blessings, and I hope your week ahead is is just as, as wonderful. Ah, I'm going to go mop. <laughs> so, thank you for watching, and until we speak again, I look forward to talking to you all again very, very soon. <laughs> Goodbye now.